Why are there no female professional dummy mommies in league? A question is all this time, honestly. Most of us would absolutely love that. And if we're being real, we can extend this question out to the broader world of gaming in general. There's a lot of demand for got GFs with big personalities, but there's not a lot of supply of them. Why is that? Hey guys, Nikolai here. On October 19, 1972, a competition for the game Space War took place at Stanford University and this became the first ever recorded instance of esports. And here is cool. one of the only photographs taken on that day. As you can see, all the participants were male. But flash forward to yeah. today's yeah. modern day esports and all the participants are still male. However, the, snake the girls fake. HK, the all-female Chinese team created by Logitech, who's here Ooh. to change that. Hello, I catch him right. I'll get an Okay. Call. Hello, I come see that. Impressive. Oh, never. Two mind. years experience. <laughs> A common question I often see is why is there no females in professional League of Legends or in esports in general? And the answer to this depends on multiple factors, which we will talk about throughout this video. But moving on, it can be argued that for most sports, the... I, I will tell you the answer right now. Game game companies are trying really, really hard to um, uh, shove this fake statistic that, oh, 50% of gamers are women. That's not true. That's not even remotely true. Women gamers are the super minority. Most women... And this is not even a hot take, but I don't know why we're supposed to not say these things. Don't like gaming. Yeah, th there's a bunch of them out there who do like gaming, who are interested in games. But most of the time, even if you make a game exclusively for women, it's literally encompassing everything that a woman should want. You're pretty much probably always going to still get a, t a 9 to 1 female versus male ratio playing that game. Females are just not interested in gaming that much. They have other interests. I don't know why gaming companies nowadays always need to say, Oh, look at this! 50% females represent it! Which is a lie. Magic the Gathering has, what, like a 40% female, female to male ratio? Which no person has ever seen in real life happen or displayed? I don't know why they need to lie about that male body does have a genetic advantage but in esports that's not necessarily the case so why is there no females in esports to make this as concise as possible i'm going to break this into three different parts but Rolls. first i don't want to clickbait you if you click for the thumbnail let's, let's talk, talk about it. that in July of 2015, Logitech in China created Hong Kong's first ever all-female League of Legends team. And honestly, it was a complete joke. A lot of people already don't <laughs> respect female gamers. And I think doing things like this only makes things worse. The reason people don't respect female, uh, female gamers, well, that that's a bit stupid. But the reason that people don't respect like professional uh, teams made up of women is because Historically, every single time that has happened, that has been either a joke, a publicity stunt, or something in the middle. It has never actually been done seriously, but it's always some kind of clout farming agenda. That, that's, that's literally it. For starters, they put out this promotional video introducing all the players, which really didn't help the stereotype of girl gamers only being support players, since they decided to include three players on the support role. On top of that, one of the players said, girls are- Also, that's true. Women usually like to play support. In World of Warcraft, women play healers. Yeah. If you have a healer in the raid, there's actually a slight possibility because that that is gonna be a woman. Because the percentile representation of, uh, of healers to tanks and DPS is- Roughly around the estimate when you start to actually see women in gaming. Now again, not necessarily true for everyone, but minorities and exceptions. This is what we're talking about here. Are more careful. Even though we might not play as well as boys, 
we pay attention to details. And sure, I suppose I can agree with this, but you know it makes it really difficult to believe you when while you're telling me this, you're in the middle of playing a game versus bots. We pay attention to details. The video had quotes like these Obviously. all throughout, including this one. League of Legends isn't popular among girls because it's not cute. And quite frankly, I'm gonna be real, okay? That's actually true. That's actually probably true. The chances that is not true is lower than the chances that it is true. This was my last straw. How are you going to tell me that this isn't cute? League it's of Legends disgusting, is actually. I tried looking for more information on Girls HK, but it was really hard to find anything significant, especially with most sources mm -hmm. being in Chinese. Basically though, I don't think the team lasted more than a year. This Classic. team was simply a promotional stunt by Logitech to promote their brand and to sell potential tickets to people. I told you, I, I told you, it's always the same. It's literally always the same. Who wanted to watch these girls play live. But some of the players actually went on to join another all-female team called Panda Cute. Specifically, oh, I have Captain, heard about this who was one. actually reported to be a master-ranked player, unlike That's the rest good. of her teammates who were very likely just models participating in a promotional campaign. <laughs> but getting back to Panda Cute, True. from what I've seen, it does seem that they are actually a more serious team in comparison to the HK girls. Which, although, is not saying that much. Now, with that being said, a team like Panda Cute plays and wins obscure tournaments here and there. But why don't they play in major leagues like... They're also probably the first team in League of Legends history that has actually made a selfie. You know, a group selfie. The LPL. Well, for starters, rules. All the major leagues, LCS, LCK, LPL, etc., do not allow female players on their Why teams though? because only boys can play video games. I never understood this, honestly. A lot of games, by the way, completely ignore this nowadays because, you know, the women are still not gonna like play. Okay, L let me explain one interesting statistic for you. Let's imagine you have, you know, let's imagine that a game gets played by, you know, 10% of women, right? If you have a million players, and out of those million players, like, you know, you can roughly estimate that about 500, uh, one, out, one out of 500,000 players is going to be good enough to play. Um, that means for every p potential 10 men that are good enough to become co co competitive and potential i mean potential that doesn't mean they're gonna succeed you have one woman that's potentially gonna become competitive you see you see where the problem occurs you're the men are gonna out eclipse she sheerly on mass alone of the women in esports nah i'm just joking i made that up there is absolutely no rule against a female joining a team in one of these leagues. Oh. Realistically, the answer to why there is no females in esports would be because there isn't any females at the level of current top players. Although Makes sense. some female players have claimed that they have been discriminated from being put into the big leagues because of their gender. But there's not exactly proof of that. That's probably the day, the true. Top players it's probably also true. It's it's the same as, you know, get it's the same as hiring. This is going to not sound the greatest, but this is essentially the same why workplaces don't exactly want to hire ex-only fans girls, ex-prostitutes and things like that. The reason why they don't want to do it is because imagine if you imagine if it's a space where, you know, you have like, I don't know, seven to one uh, males versus females, and then you get someone with a past like that in there, there there's going to be a bunch of thirsty guys making advances. So chances are a lot of teams are like, yeah, technically she fits, but it's probably going to start causing drama because our players right there are literally three times virgins. Yeah probably gonna start issues and that's like probably a legit reason why people do not uh, hire women even if they are technically good enough for the position because you, you 
really do have issues like that. That's like a real world thing. ...are who get called up to play in the top leagues. Just to even get started at having a chance to play in the LCS, you would have to be a consistently high rank player. Let's say a team is looking for a new ADC player Not and any the team puts out applications. If a female were to apply and her skill set was on par with something like Doublelift, Uzi, and other top tier ADCs, it really wouldn't take long until she got put into a team. That being said, although this is not a rule, some people speculate that having a female player in a predominantly male team could cause some conflicts within the team. Especially when it comes Conflict. to teams living under the same house at times. True. But personally, I don't agree with that. And oh, and that, by the way, I completely forgot that, yeah, uh, they're stuck in one house, so, yeah. And even if it could be true, every situation is different. There can be teams fully comprised of males who have conflict within each other. So, with all that being said, are Conflict. there any high-ranked female players? Well, of course, being Master or Challenger in League of Legends is already a small percentage True. of the total player base. And being a female League of Legends player, period, is a small percentage also. Taking is that Pokemon? Taking Riot Games put out in 2012 containing an assortment of valuable information, like how many Teemos die per second, odds of getting a pentakill, and a stat saying that 90% of League of Legends players are male. I had no idea it's 9 to 1. I said that at the start of the video, right? It's predictable, yeah. It's like w women are typically, I don't know, like 10-ish percent of the population of games. Again, they're a minority. Most of most women don't like gaming. It's, it's just the way things are. This is actually a weird statistic for Riot to put out in the first place. Because when you sign up for an account, Riot doesn't ask you for your gender. And even if we take Riot's 10% stat as a fact, it's still a stat from 2012. A time when the game oh, that's looked a like lulled. this. Yeah, throw. Since then, the game has grown exponentially, and I can only imagine the diversity of the player base has grown as well. Yo. Heck, even dogs play League of Legends today. But even with that, it's still safe to assume the female player base is under 50%. So, with the fact that there are much less female players... Every game that says that it's 50% is lying, by the way. Literally every. Then there are male players, and high rank players being in a small percentage of the total player base, it makes the possibility of professional female players very rare to begin with. Hey guys, thinking face here. Nico Lay forgot. Daddy Rally missed her first stun and still is gonna win the fight. Balanced, yes, nice. Forgot to say this, so I will instead. Another factor that separates female players with male players is the time they spend on the game. For example, players like Double Lift and Faker have said they practice between 10 to 12 hours a day. And an example on Makes the other sense. spectrum, one of the players in Girls HQ simply said they practice for 2 to 3 hours a day. <laughs> Which is a lie. <laughs> Which is probably very less. <laughs> Dude, like, come on. Now, before we end the video, I want to show you two instances where females did join the top eSport leagues. One in the LCS and one in the Overwatch League. Starting with the LCS. In I like how his two examples when this has happened is like literally, okay, okay. One is not even in League of Legends, but that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna include it. 2015, the team Renegades added a new support player to their team named Remy. Remy was actually not only the first female in the LCS, but also the first trans female player in the LCS. Regardless, though, in terms of performance, Remy was brought up to be Renegade's support when they were in the Challenger series, competing to get a spot in the LCS. And she was actually quite a good support and heavily contributed to them qualifying into the LCS. Unfortunately, it wasn't long until Remy decided to step down from her position as a player for Renegades for personal reasons. In her statement, she said, The past few weeks have been really tough for me as I've continued to struggle with a lot of personal issues, most notably anxiety and self-esteem issues. These were amplified by playing on stage and the rigorous day-to-day -day of being a pro player, compounded with a lot of stress. The story of Ren- 
Is anyone honestly surprised this, 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 this is what we get? Me is really not a simple story and from my research it seems there was many factors that led Remy to leave the LCS. And I really wouldn't use Remy saying she left because of personal reasons and stress as an example of what would happen with any female player who would join the LCS. And lastly, in the Overwatch League on February 13, the Shanghai Dragons signed Gegory, Overwatch's first female professional player. That season, the Shanghai Dragons went on to lose every game of the season with a perfect 0 and 40 <laughs> record. Although it sounds very funny, it honestly was it just is. an unfortunate situation. Gagarin sure. was actually one of the better players on the team. The Shanghai Dragons just had a little too many issues internally. One of the biggest factors being that they were a Chinese team with a mix of Chinese as well as Korean players and the Korean players were explicitly told not to talk to each other in Korean and instead to talk I mean it's, if it's a Chinese team yeah did you did you think China cares only in English or Chinese as you can imagine this ended up being a major communication issue and was one of the reasons that led the Shanghai Dragons to their incredible achievement of zero wins and 40 losses in one season. That's funny though, that's funny. But all right guys, as always, thank that's you for it? watching my video. If you liked what you saw and want to see more videos- Yep, there it is, Nikolai. Yay. Well, that was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> as expected. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, and I am out. Have a nice day, bye-bye.